What's up, YouTubers? It's me, Johnny, here. It's a rainy afternoon here in Chela, Guatemala. As you can see out there, it's a little bit of rain. Earlier today, there was quite a bit more rain. Probably be over in an hour. Anyways, not too much is going on here. It's May. In May is when the rain kind of starts. And this last few weeks, we've been getting rain almost every day. And um, June is usually when the rain starts kind of heavy. But the last two or three days, it's been raining a good amount. Anyways, I've been watching YouTube videos. I watched one of the YouTube videos by uh, Tangerine Travels. They had some funny stuff going on where they had put out too much information about where they lived in Mexico and they're starting to run into some troubles leaving too many identifying marks about where they live and getting too much hate mail delivered towards them <laughs> anyhow it's kind of I was kind of chuckling when I saw that then I saw the life with David he has a channel on mostly Colombia he's a Mexican American and he's now in Mexico I don't know if you know but the, Travel's been kind of shut down the last few weeks. Here in Guatemala, they opened everything up. You can go into all the central parks, stuff like that. Nothing's really closed off. But from what I read today, like places like Argentina and large and places like Colombia, I'm not really 100% sure, but you can't fly in from certain countries or if you're an American, you have to fly in from the US and not other countries. It's very complicated. But basically, until I think the 21st, they're making it hard to travel to a lot of Latin countries, which is, again, interesting. Anyways, uh, I was watching the channel of the life of David. When uh, Colombia just recently relocked down certain cities, he had decided to leave, I guess, because according to him, when you're shut inside your apartment or house all day long, even if you work online, it's, it's very, very depressing. So he just jetted out. I don't know if the viewers know, but there's been a lot of process in Colombia. There was an American shot and killed there, I think about a month ago. And it's highly controversial because he was robbed for his gold chain, but other people thought he was killed because he moved to Columbia, met a girl online, and then bought a house for $200,000 approximately, which is not a good idea. I try to tell viewers, if you're gonna buy a large asset, make sure it's not in your name. Uh, people think I'm wrong, but I know too many people have bought assets in their own names in places like Mexico where they find out pretty fast who really owns their home and it ain't them. And they usually slink away into the United States and don't really want to talk about it again. And again, I don't blame them. I'm not like giving them a hard time, but you should be really careful when you make large purchases in Latin America and you're making them in your own name. And now with everything being centralized through computer data, it's just too easy for the wrong people to get that information. Like Tangerine Travels found out they were getting some pretty, I'll just say pretty bad messages and they decided to move. This is in Mexico. I tell people don't take videos. Uh, just be careful what you shoot in Mexico and then if you get some violence direct toward you, you should just leave. Just leave. Anyways, um, not much is going on here. But from some of the latest videos I've, I've been watching, I've been learning that like David in the life of David, he had a business visa based on uh, a business visa in Colombia based on owning um, a vending machine, if I understand right. And it was a two or three year visa, I can't remember what he said, but he couldn't get it renewed and they're ending all that. So it's just another indication that the US government, well, I think it's the US government, I might be wrong, but the US, the EU is trying to crack down on people getting citizenship or residencies in other countries and making it tougher so. Like David said, he had been able to renew it for like, I think up to three years or something. And now they, they won't let him do that anymore. So he just decided to leave the country since they're relocking down anyways. And um, I don't keep track of what's going on in Thailand, but there's a lot of chicanery going over there, going on over there. But I just thought I'd release the video, show the kind of the rainy season here. Sunny over there. 
but anyways I'm probably going to be going to Mexico in another couple months so I'll see what's going on there I have a lot of a lot more to say I'm trying to figure out how I would say it though because there's a lot of controversial, controversial subjects now with coronavirus and things you can't really talk about anymore but here in here in Central America or at least in Mexico and Guatemala and everything's more or less back to normal and from what I've been seeing crime is ticking up a little bit the cost of living is ticking up a little bit so that's what's about going on here and now we got to start kind of the rainy season a little early I think anyways I'm gonna upload this video and wait for the comments see if anyone has any comments on what's going on oh one more thing in Florida they passed a law that you can't have vaccine passports things like that other states are doing that I just want to put this out there for open-minded people to challenge me a little bit because a friend of mine who's in the tech industry found out you can't have vaccine passports but what they can do the the, the state government can force people to get vaccines it's in the bill but it's buried in the bill so you, you probably won't hear about it but if you're considered a threat to society then Florida can vaccinate you against your will so my understanding from this tech person I know that's kind of a backdoor if they are if they if Florida wants to uh, pursue by a uh, biometrical uh, passports for uh, vaccines and things like that so a lot of these states have a back door so they can do what they want even if publicly they say they're not going to do this so just put it out just putting it out there for people so that this is kind of getting kind of ominous I mean I'm relatively unaffected where I live but we'll see for how much longer that'll last anyways I'm gonna post this video see what kind of comments I get thanks